are privileged to die at my feet. Versus... Fine, we go. The basic rundown with Ord's skills are, he has a Q that creates a pillar and slows you down when you are hit, a W skill that gives him a shield while he spits out fire, and at the last tick applies brittle to those he hits. If you are brittled and he hits you with a basic attack, it deals bonus magic damage based on maximum health. He also has an E skill that is a charge and if he collides with terrain, knocks up those who are hit. His ult allows him to summon a fiery goat elemental that if you are hit, applies a slow and brittle. On his second cast, if you are hit, you are also knocked up. Taking this into account, as a Pantheon player, you want to avoid getting hit by his Q, W, E combo. In general, you want to avoid the last tick of his W hitting you. If it does, make sure you have your Aegis of Protection up to block the brittle auto. With the changes to how single target skills work and how it grabs minion aggro, you also want to queue him and then walk away or into a bush to avoid the minion damage. Here I know I am going to hit level 2 first, and seeing Orn is below half health and that I have ignite, it is a kill. All I have to do is walk up, Q, auto, stun, auto, walk up, flash, auto, and Q while chugging a corrupting potion. In this Ari kill, I come down to mid based on two information. One, she blows flash, and two, she sees Ekarim go towards his blue side. This means, since she does not expect a regank from the left side, she has no form of escape. In order to kill her, I stun. Angle my heart seeker strike where she could possibly move past the knight while at the same time chugging the corrupting potion. This ensures that there are two forms of ticks that happen while she runs away. For this kill bot, based on the information that Jin flashed, my thought process was to position the ult a little bit further back, since any form of aggression on my team will cause them to move backwards. And knowing that he has no flash, as long as he is at the edge of my circle when I land, he is at the range of my Aegis of Zeonia, ensuring a kill. <laughs> After killing bot lane, knowing a wave is coming to my tower, I switch over my flash from teleport. Why? Because I don't need flash, and I'm way too ahead and I'm not worried about needing a flash against this horn. <laughs> 